Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, if you guys don't already know me. And today I'm gonna to be doing a peachy, glittery, full glam makeup tutorial. I feel like when you're in college, you don't really wear makeup that often. So it's really fun to go full glam on the weekends and that's what I did. So I played around with a new glitter I got from Glitter Injections. It's like an Instagram page. You should really check them out if you're into glitter because it's so pigmented, it's so pretty, and it's on my eyelids today. And I showed you guys how I put it on. So if you guys wanna learn how to get this look then stay tuned so I actually filmed this tutorial before and I lost all the footage which was so so awesome but it's okay because now I get to film it again and wear the same makeup again and it turned out so well last time so I'm so excited to teach you guys so first I'm gonna be taking my naked skin urban decay concealer and I'm gonna put this on my eyelids for primer I normally don't do my eyes first but today I'm going to because I'm probably going to use glitter and I don't want any fallout. Next, I'm just gonna blend that out. Then we're gonna need to set our eyelids so the eyeshadows can blend really easily. So I'm gonna be setting my eyelids with my Derma Blend setting powder. That looks crazy, but it's basically baking your eyelids. Then we're just gonna wipe off the excess. I'm gonna zoom you guys in really quick and we can get started on the eyeshadow. The first color I'm gonna be taking is Shop by ColourPop and it's a really pretty peach. And I do recommend using your fingers to apply this because brushes do not work very well. For me at least, it's a really buttery consistency so you're gonna need the warmth of your fingers to really blend it in. I'm gonna put this all over my lid and a little bit in my crease. It looks super hot pink, but when we blend it out with a little bit of a brown, it's gonna look a lot more wearable. Now I'm gonna be taking my Morphe 350 palette. I'm gonna be using this color right here. So I'm just gonna set my eyelids with this color. And I'm also gonna blend it out into my crease. Again, I know it's a little bit crazy right now, but bear with me, it's gonna turn out so good. Next, I'm gonna take this color and put it in my crease. So this is really gonna give an ombre feel and make it a little bit more wearable. So now I'm just gonna blend all those colors together with a really big fluffy brush. I know this brush is supposed to be used for a contour, I think, but I just like to blend it all out because it's so easy to do it with a big fluffy brush. Now it's time for glitter, and this pairs so well with the ColourPop Shop color. This one is Boy Band by ColourPop, and it's a shimmer shadow. So again, just use your fingers for these eyeshadows because they are super buttery. Next, I'm gonna attempt to put on glitter, but before that, I'm just gonna use my glitter glue from Sephora. This is the glitter I'm gonna be using today. It's Copper Crush from Glitter Injections. I think they only have an Instagram page and obviously like a shop online, but it is so pigmented and I'm so excited to try it out. I bought this with my own money because I've seen them all over Instagram and like, you know, those videos that people like just swatch them all. They look so amazing. So I finally found out what they were and I couldn't stop myself because they were actually having a sale. Oh my god, that's crazy. That's so unlike me. I feel like I never wear glitter. So I definitely need to blend them out a little bit, but it is crazy pigmented. I'm going to take the brown we used in the Morphe palette and blend them out. But I'm really glad I did not do my foundation first because I feel like there's like glitter all over. Like it wasn't too bad of a fallout, but there's just like glitter specks all on my face. Now that my eyes are almost done, I'm gonna do my foundation and then put on like eyeliner, mascara, and false lashes. Right now I'm using the Elizabeth Arden Flawless Start Instant Perfecting Primer. I feel like this look is really glam. So I think I'm probably gonna have to put on fake lashes, but if you don't know how or don't want to, like don't feel the need. So for foundation, I'm gonna be using my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the shade NC44.
This foundation is buildable, so I'm just gonna do a second layer really quick. Next, I'm gonna go back in with the Naked Skin Concealer, and I'm gonna highlight my face. So why not make it a full glam tutorial? I'm going to be using my cream contour kit from Ofra Cosmetics. I've always been curious about contour kits and they actually sent this to me so I got to try it out and I love it. Like I feel like it makes your look so much more dramatic and it actually helps to stay on the whole day because it is cream contour and like powder just like rubs off. I use this shade because I just like my bronzer to be super dark. So I'm gonna be taking this flat rectangle kind of brush. It's the Morphe M458. I think this is super perfect for contouring because you can just go right in the hollows of your cheeks and bring that up. So I just like make a line pretty much everywhere you're supposed to contour. And then I blend it out. So I start with the forehead and lift. And remember to bring it up when you blend instead of down. That's gonna give the illusion of really high cheekbones. I just grabbed another brush to just help blend it out a little bit better. I haven't baked in a while, so I think I'm gonna do it today. I'm gonna be taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Then I'm going to take it right under my contour and right down my nose and a little bit on my chin just because it's really oily down there. So I just went ahead and did my eyebrows and now it's time to wipe off the bake. So next, I'm gonna go in with more bronzer. This is actually an eyeshadow from Makeup Forever. It's called Pink Brown. Next is blush. This one is from L'Oreal. It's called Soft Sun. Then to highlight my face, I'm gonna be taking Beverly Hills by Ofra Cosmetics and just swirling my fingers around all of the colors to mix them all and blend that out. So I'm gonna go pop on some lashes and I'll be back. So I put my false lashes on. Now I'm gonna put some shadow on my lower lash line to even the whole look out. So I'm gonna put the bright peach color that we used in the Morphe palette on the outer corner. And then the brown that we used in the Morphe palette on the whole thing and just blend it out with that brown. Next, I'm going to put lower lash mascara on. I'm going to be using the Max Factor Mascara in Masterpiece Max. The best way to do it is just to put a mirror above you and look up to it. And lastly, for lips, we're going to do a little nude lip. So first, I'm going to be taking a Ulta lipstick. Change of plans, we're actually going to be using Dolce K from Kylie Cosmetics. I think this is going to be a little bit darker. So this is the complete look and I hope you guys really enjoyed it and got some inspiration for a look that you could do on this Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day to everyone and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!